Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. For a company with a big portfolio, it's important to assess its product lines regularly to see which product is profitable, which is making losses, and which ones need some work. This practice helps the company to allocate its resources accordingly to function more efficiently. While many practices and tools are available to the company to accomplish this mission, the BCG matrix, developed by the Boston Consulting Group, is considered a gold standard for finding the cash cows, the stars, the question marks, and the dogs. At the height of its success, the BCG matrix was used by about half of all Fortune 500 companies. So what is the matrix? Are there some real-world examples? How to use it? In this video, I will discuss these questions with you. Section 1. Origin and Assumptions In the 1970s, Bruce Henderson, founder of the Boston Consulting Group, came up with the BCG matrix, also called as Growth Share Matrix, which would look at a successful business product portfolio, based on potential growth and market shares. According to the product portfolio theory, it's fundamental to look at cash flows to build up a successful portfolio, and this is based on four primary assumptions. Number 1. High market shares bring high margins and cash flows. Number 2. Growth requires cash to be maintained. Number 3. High market share will be either earned or bought. Number 4. No product market can grow forever. Section 2. Four Quadrants. The BCG matrix plots a company's offerings in a 2x2 two two matrix, with the y-axis representing the rate of market growth and the x-axis representing market share. Then it divided products into that four quadrants. Stars, cash cows, question marks, and dogs. Let's discuss them individually. Number 1. Stars. Stars are high share, high growth products, and they are highly competitive in the category. They may have been expensive to develop, but are worth spending money on for promotion, given the long extent of their product life cycle. If successful, a star will become a cash cow when the category matures. However, not all stars become cash flows. In continuously changing industries, when new technologies replace old ones, a star could also become a dog. Number 2. Cash Cows Cash cows are products with high market share and slow growth. They generate profits by investing as little cash as possible in low-cost support and need to be managed for continued profits or cash flow. Cash cows need to maintain a strong market position and defend their market share. The company should take advantage of sales volume and leverage the size of its operations. Profits from cash cows can also be used to support other products. Number 3. Question Marks Question marks are low market share and high growth products. Most businesses start as question marks. These require huge investments to capture or protect market share. Question marks have the potential to become stars and eventually cash cows, but can also become dogs. Number 4. Dogs. Dogs are products with low market share and slow growth. Unless a dog has some other strategic aim, it should be liquidated if there are fewer prospects for it to gain market share. Normally, these products are situated at a declining stage of the product life cycle. The company should get rid of all non-value-added activities and features. It must then reposition the offering to generate positive cash flow or sell this business. Section 3. Real-World Examples Example 1. Pepsi. Pepsi is best known for its soft drink brands, but it also has diversified interests in breakfast foods, snacks, sports drinks, water, iced tea, and various coffee-based beverages. Let's look at some of these under the BCG matrix. First, stars. In North America, Gatorade holds an impressive 67.7% of the sports drinks market, where it has been a mainstay for around half a century. Mortar Intelligence predicts the global sports drink market to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 4.5% in the next five years. This increase is mainly driven by more awareness of the benefits of sports drinks and their ability to act as a convenient food or nutrient supplement. Second, cash cows. One cash cow for PepsiCo is snack brand Frito-Lay, with nearly 60% market share in the United States and, in 2020, $4.8 billion in sales. The brand's range of convenient and savory snacks is a staple of American pantries and is thus unlikely to decline in popularity anytime soon. Question marks. When Diet Pepsi was launched in 1964, it became the first Diet Cola to be distributed around the U.S. It enjoyed first-mover advantage until Diet Coke was released in 1982. 
Despite renewed interest in healthier, low-calorie drinks today, Diet Pepsi's share of the core U.S. soft drink market has declined from 6.1% in 2004 to 3.8% in 2021. Fourth, dogs. Consumer health trends suggest that all sweetened cola beverages, including Pepsi, will move to the dog quadrant at some point shortly. However, this cannot be predicted with absolute certainty. Pepsi's failed attempts to move with the times have led to some of its most notable failed brands. One of these was Crystal Pepsi, a colorless caffeine-free alternative to Pepsi which was removed from shelves after just 12 months in 1993. Real World Example 2. Apple. As we know, Apple's products include iPhone, Mac, iPad, AirPods, Apple TV, Apple Watch, HomePod, iPod Touch, and accessories. So let's take a look at Apple's BCG matrix. First, stars. For Apple, the iPhones are undoubtedly the stars of the company. Known for their design and technology, Apple's iPhones have a loyal fan base, thanks to which the company manages to leave the competition behind in the market. Second, cash cows. Four Apple products fall under the cash cow category in Apple's BCG matrix. Those products are iTunes, MacBooks, iPads, and Apple Watches. However, please keep in mind that as the computer industry slowly becomes portable and mobile, the need for laptops and desktops also decreases. Third, question mark. For Apple, the Apple TV and Apple AirPods can be considered as question marks. Stiff competition from big brands and other smaller players has added a lot more pressure on the company to gain market share. Fourth, dogs. Considering the performance of all the products that Apple offers, the declining market demand and high innovation in the music sharing industry have made Apple iPods fall into the dogs quadrant of the BCG matrix. Section 4. How to use the BCG matrix. The BCG matrix can help companies identify which products they should prioritize and which need to be cut altogether. Here are four strategies to use the BCG matrix. Number 1. If your goal is to focus on innovation and expansion, you should invest in stars and question marks because of their high growth potential. Sometimes you may be able to push a question mark into a star and, later, a cash cow, by investing more in it. Number 2. For cash cows, if you can't invest more, keep it in the same quadrant and leave it alone, because it is a well-established product that takes less effort to maintain. Number 3. For dogs, due to their low market share and low growth potential, you should divest the amount of money invested and apply it to other products. Number 4. Under certain scenarios, a product that was a question mark could quickly turn into a dog, so you should be ready to walk away if the stakes get too high. Please keep in mind that because consumer preferences are constantly changing, it's difficult to predict the long-term growth of any product. That's why you should regularly revise and update your BCG matrix as market conditions change. At the end of the day, the goal isn't to succeed in any one area, it's to create a diversified portfolio. You need products in every quadrant of your BCG matrix to keep a healthy cash flow and offer products that can secure your company's future. All right, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your thoughts in a comment below. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.